Welcome to WordPress landing pages. I'm David Wells, founder of Inbound Now, and I'm going to walk you through very quickly how to set up your first landing page. So to do that, um, you'll see the new admin menu here, landing pages. What you want to do is hover over that, click into landing pages. What you'll notice, uh, what you'll see on this page is actually this demo landing page. So if you're interested in learning how A-B testing works with the plugin, how to actually configure a landing page, go ahead and click edit and go into that screen. And what you're gonna see here is a default landing page that we set up for you with headlines, uh, copy, and a form, just an example form to basically show you what landing pages actually look like. And then you can see here that there's a B variation as well. If you click on that, you can see that that's the B headline. If we were to go in and view these particular landing pages, so this is the B version. If I refresh this page, we'll go ahead and see the A version there. So it's very easy to set up landing pages and alter the content or alter the form or alter the look and feel of that particular landing page to figure out exactly what works best in converting traffic. And that's exactly why we created this plugin in the first place is to help people optimize their marketing efforts and continually figure out what's working, what's not working, and iterate on that to continuously improve marketing over time. So to create your own landing page, go ahead and click on the Add New section. So if we go back into the main landing page, there's an Add New button up here, or it's in the main nav here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click Add New. And what you can see here is a bunch of different templates that we have set up. So by default, we have your theme selected um, and that is the current theme template and it should have a screenshot of your theme there, depending on how your theme was set up. There's also pre-packaged templates that we have with the plugin um, and also a number of different premium templates that you can purchase from our store. But um, yeah, and you can kind of sort through here and see exactly what the templates do, how they interact with each other and et cetera, et cetera. But to select a template, so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just go with the half and half column here. So this is a landing page that has two columns on the page. I'm gonna name this sample landing page. Click on create. And now that page is set up. So this page has a primary headline. So let's go ahead and add that in. So primary headline. There's a uh, area for the main copy on the page. So I'm just gonna put in some dummy text there. And I'm gonna go ahead and, so this is the, our A version. So I'm just gonna add a note. So A version, um, let's just say this is blue. This is for A-B testing, so to know exactly what um, each version does um, so you can see what variation is before, without having to look at every single thing um, useful for A-B testing. So now that we have our content and the main headline in the page, what we want to do is insert a form. So to insert a form, what you're going to want to do is, so you can use your own form plugin. Um, I, ha I have Gravity Forms installed on here. Um, we also have our own form tool that's brand new, um, and we recommend um, using that mainly because it's our tool and we can support you if you have any issues with it. Um, Third-party form plugins sometimes don't function 100% correctly. Uh, most of them do. Sometimes you run into issues, though. That's why we built our own form tool. But to create a form, just go ahead and click on this uh, Inbound Now Power button. Um, and you can go ahead and click on Inbound Form Builder. So the Inbound Form Builder, here we have um, the Form Builder. So let's just walk through it. So Form Name, that's a required field. Where you want to redirect them to after they fill out this form. So let's just say we're gonna send them to Google right now. Obviously you'd want to send them to a thank you page or a redirect to that exact same page that they're on or what have you. Um, and then uh, notification email. So this is if you want to get notified via email um, of a new lead or form completion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put an email at email.com. 
So that's basically it. There is also an option to start from a pre-existing form template. So there is, um, there's three standards in here. I have some other ones that I've set up for testing, but so if I just want to do like a quick first name, last name, email form, I can just select that option and it will go ahead and populate that form. You can see the live preview here um, to edit the fields, go ahead and click on edit fields and you can see all the fields here um, in the form. Um, and I can go ahead and let's say I don't want last name anymore. I can go ahead and remove that. And I want to make first name required. If you just click on any of these options, they will expand and show you all of the different um, options for you. Um, you can also change what kind of field it is. So let's say let's, I, don't, I don't want first name. I want to know like um, what is your favorite favorite color? And I'm gonna go ahead and make this field required as well. And cool. So basically, and I can do radio selects, drop down. So if I wanted to do a drop down, what is your favorite color? So we're gonna do blue, comma, red, comma, yellow. And what you can see here is that populating over here, building out that form in real time. So that looks good to me. Obviously, if you're using a landing page, um, you probably don't want to ask people what their favorite color is. Uh, that's why we built these standard kind of fields here. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-populate this with a standard kind of lead generation form, first name, last name, email, company, and job title. So it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and, and say form name XYZ, um, just to make sure that it's not a duplicate form name. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and insert. So there we have it. So that's my form short code. What you're gonna to wanna to do is actually put that into the form, uh, landing page form conversion area. Uh, and that's right here. There is a, a button right here as well that you can build the same thing and insert that short code directly in there. Um, this call to action menu won't be showing for you guys unless you have our other free plugin, Calls to Action, installed. Just a heads up there. Um, so yeah, so that is the basic, basic, basic setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and show you what this page looks like right now. And here is our landing page with the primary headline, that copy that we had right there, and then our form with the submit button. I guess this template isn't actually blue, so let's change this to red. Update that inline. Uh, don't even have to refresh the page there. Um, and then if we scroll down, I'm going to show you the options as well. So every landing page has options that come with it. So basically these are different color options, different layout options, et cetera, and every template is different. You can also build your own templates out of any design that you want. If you have the HTML, CSS of a landing page, um, this plugin is actually a framework that lets you build this or lets your developer or designer build this. So let's say that you want to take an old existing landing page and start actually testing you know, how many views, how many conversions, you can do that with this plugin for free. Um, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna to toggle off the social media buttons, uh, change the page layout to flip the form on the right. Let's just go ahead and change that uh, orangish reddish color to a blue. And I'll go ahead and update this. Now if we go and refresh this page, what you're gonna see is those new options taking effect. So you can see there's the blue, flip the layout, et cetera. Um, there's also a visual editor, um, and that's actually a lot easier to do this on the fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. You can launch the visual editor as well from this launch visual editor button once the page is originally published. So I'm just gonna, I'll go ahead and click this. You can also launch it from here um, when you're viewing a landing page in the WordPress admin bar, launch visual editor. So there we go. Um, it automatically shrinks the page to fit. Sometimes that might mess up some styles, but the normal page will look fine. Um, and what we see here is all of our options again. So I'm gonna go ahead and say primary headline update. And I can go ahead and update this in real time and see, hey, there's my new headline, looks better. Uh, I like it. You can also update the content, the form area, um, let's go ahead and say that I want the main background color to actually be inverted. So I'm going to make it black and I'm going to go ahead and actually make the content text color white. 
So I could update these individually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click update all though. And what you can see there is the live update of what the page now looks like. Um, this landing page template, for example, this is the half and half template that comes with the base plugin. You can also change the uh, submit button color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to like a pink color. And there you go. Um, there's also options to edit the style sheet or add custom JavaScript for at like Google AdWords or anything else you're trying to do. Um, if you scroll down on the page and that's in the custom CSS and the custom JavaScript areas. So let me jump back into the main editor screen and show you guys that as well. So what we have here is there's the custom CSS, custom JavaScript if you want. And then at the very bottom is the conversion logs. Anybody filling out that form on this landing page is gonna be added to that conversion log. And if you have WordPress leads installed, our other free plugin, you'll be able to manage and see different leads coming into your site. This is a bad example because it's on my local host. But basically you can see all pages that are viewed and a ton of other uh, awesome things. Definitely check out the WordPress leads plugin if you're interested in lead management. But um, yeah, so that's setting up a landing page in a nutshell. Um, if you wanna keep watching, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this CSS and show you that as well. But that is the gist of setting up a landing page. So what I see here, I actually wanna change the style of the button to make it kind of fit in line here. It's a little bit off. So, um, and this is in Chrome developer tools. If you right click on anything and inspect the element, it'll take you right to that particular element. And you can go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink the width a little bit. And the padding, let's see, it looks like there's a margin on the left. I'm gonna get rid of that. And also, make it a little bit, there we go. So that looks better to me just um, from a glance. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this CSS. Again, you have to click on the correct element um, on the page. If you're hovering over the element and right click inspect, it should take you directly to that element. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy this CSS, um, launch the visual editor again, or I could drop this into the normal editor and scroll down to the custom CSS, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in. So I'm just dropping in the rule here, right there, and then if I go ahead and hit update all, it's gonna refresh this preview. So it did in fact refresh the preview, but I copied over too many rules, so I'm actually gonna delete that. The rule that I copied over is the background color, so that's actually overriding our settings here. So when you are pasting in custom CSS, you wanna make sure that you're just pasting in the rules that you're altering. So I just was altering the width and the margin. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this again. And perfect, so there's my landing page. Um, you know, good basic landing page that I can now A-B test. If I wanna go and A-B test, I'll go back into the main um, editor screen and either clone this copy or create a new variation and that'll copy over the options. And then I can go ahead and tweak anything, change the settings, etc. But yeah, so that's creating a landing page inside of WordPress landing pages.